Famous YouTuber KSI shockingly revealed that Jake Paul may lose an ear in the Mike Tyson fight because Tyson will brutally end Jake Paul. In a recent interview with martial artist and actor Michael Jai White, a stunning revelation came to fruition. He said that Jake Paul doesn't even stand a chance against the legendary Iron Mike. Well, let's switch gears for a second. Mm. It was announced recently that Mike Tyson, age 57, mm -hmm. is going to be fighting Jake Paul. Mm. age 27 right on july 20th on netflix mm -hmm. which is i think a first for netflix to actually have a live fight yeah right i think so who you got uh i got mike tyson really yeah i do okay Jai further mentioned that he doesn't see Jake Paul stopping Mike Tyson's jabs to the stomach, which will eventually lead to possible rib fracture early on in the fight. White further elaborated his remarks on Mike's incredible physique. He says that Mike Tyson is huge and he has a big center of gravity, so he doesn't believe that Jake Paul will be able to hurt him in any way. He further made a size comparison between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. White is convinced that Jake is not of the size to give Mike any real trouble. If Mike Tyson were to hit Jake Paul in the body, then his body will not be able to move. An attack to the body could be very fatal for Paul. Michael was told that Tyson is over 220 pounds, but Paul is only 200 pounds, to which he responded with dismay. Are you kidding me? He's 200. Oh gee, it's worse than I thought. In a recent bout, Jake Paul fought the bare knuckle champion Mike Perry and won by a sixth round knockout and Jake was at 200 pounds. White painfully believes that Jake can't hold a candle to Mike at 200 pounds because Mike is a natural muscular heavyweight. When Mike Tyson fought Roy Jones Jr. in his exhibition match, Tyson clearly won the fight, but the fight ended in a draw as it is common with most exhibition matches. Jai thinks that Roy Jones Jr. has skills and experience despite the age, but Jake does not have any experience. Furthermore, Michael said that Jake Paul has fought really tiny guys in the past except for Tommy Fury, which he lost against. Jai has had fighters spar with Jake Paul and his older brother Logan Paul, and given the results of the sparring, White declared that both the Paul brothers are not very shiny when it comes to boxing. White does, however, believe that Jake Paul has a lot of punching power, but Mike Tyson has that too, and coupled with his skills and experience, he becomes unstoppable. Michael further elaborates, I know the guys that train with them okay and how they do against them, so I'm a little like, you know, it's kind of insider information there, but yeah, I don't, I don't see Jake doing much against Mike, so you definitely give it to Mike Tyson. Despite Jay's predictions of the Jake Paul and Mike Tyson bout, he believes that Jake is never going to lose in terms of the payday because he has made the biggest event possible, with Netflix streaming it live. The whole world will witness the Mike vs. Jake bout, and the media people are hyping the fight before it actually occurs. White is convinced that a loss for Jake Paul is not a loss in this situation, in terms of the money he will be making. Michael was asked if Jake Paul would be scared going into the ring against Mike Tyson, so Jai told the audience that he should be very scared to face Mike. Even Mike Tyson is scared of going into the ring against his opponents as he has said it himself. Jake Paul should fear Tyson's fear because he is a very formidable adversary. There are rumors surrounding Mike Tyson where he can end a fight in less than 30 seconds and he beats anyone who is scared of him. Additionally, Jai White gave some remarkable advice to Jake Paul when he said that Paul should embrace the fun of fighting Mike Tyson and not be afraid of him because that may be a reason for his triumph. Former professional boxer Evander Holyfield reveals a shocking strategy that may allow Jake Paul to win against Mike Tyson. Of course, you know, it's, it's, it's with the confidence the other guy. I don't I don't know how much confidence that Jake Paul have in all of this. But you know, he's gonna be a lot quicker. And and if, if if he stay close to Mike, if he stay close to Mike, then 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 his chance of winning gonna be great. But he he tried to stay back from Mike. He gonna, he gonna get caught. Mm. Evander Holyfield fought Mike Tyson back in 1996, so he had some really good advice for Jake Paul, which came from his experience. Holyfield said that Jake Paul should stay close to Mike Tyson despite the general view of the public to stay away from him. If Paul were to give Mike some space to launch his attack, then it would be devastating for Jake. Furthermore, Evander was asked who he sees winning between the two fighters, to which he responded that it depends on how Jake fights. He further added, I don't know, it's all depending on how Jake fight, you know? 
know, I tell you what, if he, if it's cause somebody gonna tell him it's too crazy to be trying to get close to the guy, he gonna say like that, he gonna get, he going Mike, like he get in, he curve up like this and snap out and get you, yeah, he, he'll jump up, get you, yeah, that what I'm saying. In addition, Evander praised Jake Paul by saying that he can take a good shot, he has power, and I have never seen him get hit. Holyfield does not doubt Mike's determination to win, even for a single second, he said that nobody gets in the ring thinking they are going to lose. A true fighter only steps into the ring if they think they can win, and Mike has that level of solid determination. Holyfield was further asked if it would be a big loss to boxing if Mike Tyson were to lose to a YouTuber turned boxer like Jake Paul. Evander exclaimed that he doesn't take it that way because Mike has already given so much to the sport, and everybody knows he won't be very quick because of his age. That being said, he still has a lot of power, and if he sees any opening, then he will surely catch Jake Paul. Even Roy Jones Jr. praised Mike's power when he said that if Tyson punches you, then it's like getting hit by a mule. Meanwhile, the famous YouTuber KSI, who also happens to be Jake Paul's friend, reacted to the news when he heard about Jake Paul fighting an old Mike Tyson. He said that the fight is a lose-lose situation for both fighters. Fight against Mike Tyson. Oh, man. Oh, man. Dude, the amount of people that think I'm fighting Mike Tyson made me think I'm fighting Mike Tyson. <laughs> The tweets, yo, Logan Paul's gonna get his ass kicked. I'm like, I don't understand. His name is on the poster. It says Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. And also, I don't think I look like Jake. I got no tattoos and I don't have that thick beard. Mm. But I'm sure you have some opinions about Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> <Yo>. um, <laughs> oh man, I honestly, I just think it's sad, bro. I think it's super sad. I don't know why Jake took it. It's a lose-lose. Literally, he knocks out Mike Tyson and he's being what uh, an, uh, 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 an OAP. <laughs> what does that? What does that mean? What does that mean? Old age, but uh, uh, old age pension. Jay, I should, we should say this right now. JJ went out last night. Yeah, after yeah, the fight. Sorry, guys. Did you? <laughs> Casey's friend claimed that even though Mike Tyson is 57 years of age, he is still Mike Tyson. Jake Paul could lose his ear and get brutally hurt in the fight. Mike Tyson is so vicious that he claimed he chewed body parts of his opponents in the ring. Casey described the insanity behind Jake Paul taking on an old man. He said that everyone will know Jake to be the guy that beat an old man and this will go down in the history books. If Jake Paul gets knocked out by Mike Tyson, then that would be really shameful for the young fighter. Jake's brother Logan believes that Mike Tyson can still hit hard, but he was concerned whether he can take hits at his age. Logan is convinced that if Mike were to get hit by Jake's solid hit punch, then it will be prune juice for him. No matter who wins or loses in the fight, it's still going to make a lot of money for Jake Paul and Mike Tyson, and there will be thousands if not millions of people watching it. Jake Jake Paul's legacy will forever be remembered as the guy who beat old people, said KSI. Furthermore, KSI believes that many critics think Jake Paul is a YouTuber and he doesn't stand a chance against Mike Tyson, but they don't know how hard we train and we have a fairly decent chance against boxers. In an interview, professional boxer Terrence Crawford explained that he has a lot of respect for Jake Paul since he is training very hard in the gym. Hey, night. Happy. What, what can I ask uh, as, as one of the best in the world? What would you make of it? I think, like, like I said in the interview, I think Jake is getting better. You know, uh, he may need to work on his stamina a little bit, you know, uh, but for the most part, I've gained a lot of respect for Jake because he's not a YouTuber that's just boxing, just a boxing. He actually trains and actually want to get better and actually have got better. Terrence Crawford was asked if he has any interest in the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul fight, to which he astoundingly responded that he is not going to watch the fight. Bud Crawford explained that Mike Tyson has done a lot for the sport of boxing, and he doesn't want to see him get hurt against a young kid. He further explains that Mike has health problems at this age, which adds to the fire. Even though the fight is about money or entertainment, it is still dangerous for Mike. Moreover, Terrence Crawford praised Jake Paul for his boxing style and complimented him on his hard work because he is doing everything like a professional boxer. Crawford pointed out that it's possible for him to earn a cruiserweight title in the coming years. Critics on the other hand jump on the opportunity to fight him but then they get beaten. Terrence said that Jake is in the learning process and he has only 10 fights as of now but he will gradually rise up the ranks. It is important that he takes time to grow and climb up the ladder gradually and once he starts competing with a better competition, 
then he will start winning belts. Meanwhile, former boxer Lennox Lewis was asked about how he views the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul fight, to which he responded that it's going to be an amazing fight and offers Jake Paul a brutal warning to stay away from him. We certainly are. Yeah. Talk to the schmo for a second. We thought it'd be an exhibition, but it's going to be a real fight. You know this man well. Mike Tyson, he's fighting Jake Paul. What are your expectations for that big fight in Dallas, Texas? I think uh, it's going to be a good fight. I mean, you know, Mike Tyson, what he does is, is two-dimensional. He's going to come at you trying to knock you out. Now, you got to try and stay away from him. Stay away from his power. Lennox has seen Mike Tyson train recently, and he shockingly admitted that Mike can still throw some devastating six-punch combinations. Lewis warns Jake Paul not to get in front of the punch combinations, as that will end him. Tyson can take a punch, and he can throw a punch even at 57 years of age. Despite his older appearance, he has still got the power hiding beneath. In another interview with former boxer Roy Jones Jr., he shockingly remarked that it's going to be really tough for Jake to survive the initial rounds. He's the last man to enter in the ring with Mike Tyson. It was an exhibition, man. What do you think is going to happen when he faces Jake Paul? It's not going to be an exhibition. It's going to be a pro fight in Dallas, Texas. It's going to be tough. If Jake Paul can survive three rounds with the extra weight he's put on, he may have a chance, but he's going to survive the first three rounds. You think he's going to survive those first three rounds? I don't know. That's yet to be seen. That's probably going to watch it. Although Roy Jones did not get the chance to fight the great Mike Tyson in his prime, he did get the chance to fight Mike in an exhibition match in 2020, which was considered a draw. When Roy received the call to fight an exhibition match with Mike, he was overjoyed because he wanted to feel how it was, getting hit by Mike's punches. He further added that even at this age, Mike has got the power, and it feels like a horse is kicking you, so Mike's punches can be very devastating if they go to the head. Head. Meanwhile, professional boxer Nate Diaz gave his thoughts on the Mike vs. Jake bout. He said that he is with Mike Tyson all the way, and he looked up to Mike Tyson growing up. Uh, you fought Jake in the past. Obviously, Mike has a fight with Jake coming up. What are your thoughts on that fight? I'm with Mike all the way. Mike's the man, you already know. And uh, 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 Jake's young, explosive, and got nothing to lose in every fight. So I think that's what he's got going for him. Mike Tyson's former coach, Teddy Atlas, was asked about his thoughts on the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul bout, to which he responded that it's a show that is going to make a lot of money. I do want to ask you before I let you go, we've just heard the news of Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. You've obviously been part of Mike's team a long, long time ago. Um, talk to me about that. It's a bit of a weird one. We didn't expect that and it came out of nowhere. Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, July 20th in Texas. It's going to make money. You want me to say more than that? <laughs> Is there a need to say more than that? Atlas shockingly praised Jake Paul's determination for boxing, and he says that he is living the American dream. Teddy is a huge fan of Jake Paul when it comes to following his path. He had a good YouTube following, and he took that audience to another platform, and now he is dedicated to boxing. Atlas claims that Jake is taking real risks in his life. Although critics may believe that he's not fighting boxers, he is fighting MMA fighters. Older guys, but the risk is definitely present. Jake Paul had only been in the sport for three years, and he he was able to defeat fighters that had been in the fighting sport for 15 to 20 years. Teddy Atlas likes Jake Paul because he hasn't disrespected the sport of boxing. He went in the ring and fought the best fighters just like any boxer, and trained hardcore. Atlas further complimented Jake, he's still a work in progress, and he understands that, but he's getting better in his last fight. He was in with a nobody, I get it, but he was more comfortable in the ring. You can see it, you know, he's seeing more in the ring, in that difficult cauldron, I call it, that furnace, where guys that haven't been in it before, they get burnt up. He's not getting burnt up, he's not getting a evaporated because he's doing his job. On the other hand, former MMA fighter Chael Sonnen expressed his beliefs on the Mike vs. Jake matchup. He said that Mike Tyson is chasing the glory and he may just end up beating Jake Paul. And Mike Tyson came out and Mike Tyson is supposedly has a fight with Jake Paul coming up in a number of months. Now, I never really overly believed that, but this interview that Mike Tyson just did made me start thinking, okay, this thing is more real than perhaps a hater like Chael thought it was. Because Mike Tyson has come out and said, I know if Jake Paul fights somebody before he fights me and he loses, 
I don't get the opportunity, and I really want the opportunity because I think I can beat him. Mike Tyson never got the chance to fight in the pay-per-view era where millions of people can watch the fight simultaneously, and he never really received the same recognition as fighters of the modern era. Chael is convinced that Mike is fighting to attain glory, and he would enjoy beating up Jake Paul. Tyson wants all the attention for himself, which is evident when he said that Jake Paul can't hurt him because he's not large enough, nor does he have the right positioning in boxing. On the contrary, Jake Paul Paul's friend and professional MMA fighter Sean O'Malley told the audience who Jake will be going up against aside from Mike Tyson. What's next for Jake Paul? Jake Paul obviously is our, I think he already has a fight booked. He's fighting Mike Tyson in what, November or December? He called out Alex Pajeda. That fight won't happen unless Dana says, I'm sick of seeing Jake beat all these UFC guys. I'm, I'm de I'm giving it. Although Sean doesn't believe that it is a possibility, Dana White will allow Alex to fight Jake. He is super excited to see Alex Pereira face off against Jake Paul. Sean is convinced that Alex has a lot of power in his punches, but he also leaves a lot of openings. O'Malley imagined that Jake Paul would knock out Mike Tyson and then he would face UFC fighter Pereira because Jake loves a good challenge. Jake Paul keeps on improving after each fight, which is evident from his recent bout with Mike Perry. Sean also commented that the fight with Mike Tyson might look similar to what Mike Perry faced. After each fight, Jake has been fueling his next fights with opportunities by calling other fighters out. Sean elaborated, Jake is doing such a good job after a fight, the biggest thing is what's next, and you gotta set yourself up for those opportunities. And Jake's? Doing that better than anyone right now, he's calling out who's next, he already has a fight booked. Uh, he's doing a really good job of doing that. Jake's definitely a very good boxer. Furthermore, Sean said that Jake is a really tough fighter, but until he fights the top 20 boxers in the world who match with his cruiserweight class, he cannot fully make a name for himself. When he starts to take on bigger fights, then he will rise above the competition on the path to world champion. People want to see Jake fight the best guys in the world, and Sean really loves the crossover MMA fighters have with Paul because it adds head counts in Jake Paul's resume. Meanwhile, Jake Paul is just really relaxing by facing off against President Donald Trump. <laughs> Paul received a plethora of criticism on social media for facing opponents older than him like Mike Tyson. One critic commented while seeing Jake Paul face off against the president. That's average age of his opponents. He fights to be honest. I won't be surprised if that fight is announced next. Another fan brutally commented on Jake Paul's mentality that he loves to take on old retired people and Donald Trump could probably end up being his next opponent. Boxing fan Stewart remarked underneath the post, Trump would be his hardest fight so far, so he'd probably avoid him. Do you think Jake Paul stands a chance against the legendary Mike Tyson? Let us know your thoughts below.